Hello, Joanna. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. I'm great. Great. Do you have a good day? Yes. What do you do? What do you do today? I went to the beach. Really? Which one? Afternoon, yeah. Uh, um, Atami. I went Atami. to Atami. That is in La Libertad, right? Yeah. Okay. I live in Santa Tecla, so. Ah, oh, nice. So it's close to you. Too far. Uh -huh, it's not too far. And who do you go with? With my boyfriend. Nice. <laughs> so you had a nice day, a really good day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's really good. And uh, did you spend the whole day there or just in the morning or just the afternoon? Just, just the afternoon. Okay, got it. Yeah. Now that you mentioned the beach, I am going to change that background. <laughs> <laughs> so that I will imagine that I am in San Francisco. <laughs> hey, Jorge, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? How's everything? I am fine, teacher. And you? I'm great. I'm great. Yes. Do you have a good day today? I'm fine, teacher. You had a good day? Good day. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Easy day. A busy day. Yes, teacher. Busy day. What do you do? In this moment, uh, in class, angry class. Okay. And welcome, Carla, eh, Fatima, and Norma. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me, uh, Fatima, Nelson, and Norma? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Hello, good evening, Roxana and Joanna. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You are very punctual. That's that's really nice. Uh, Ismael and Jocelyn. Hello, hello. Is anybody there? Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Okay, as we wait uh, for everybody to join us, I'm going to start by asking you if you remember uh, some of the expressions that I shared with you yesterday. Different questions uh, to ask, how are you? Do you remember some questions from yesterday? Estuvimos viendo acerca de las ocupaciones de trabajo. Yes, we talked about jobs yesterday, but at the beginning of the session, I I share with you some expressions, some questions that we can ask instead of uh, how are you? Different questions. Okay, for example, how are you doing? 
Do you remember the other questions that I shared with you and the expressions? What's up? <laughs> how, What's ha up? how have you been? How have you been? How is it Again? going? How is it going? What's up? What's new? What's new? What's new? Uh huh. What's new? How's everything? How's everything? How's everything? How's Very going? Good. What? Jocelyn, can you repeat that, please? How's going on? Okay. What about the possible answers? The possible answers. I'm fine is a the the normal, right? That I'm fine. But we can use more expressions. For example. I like to say I'm great. Okay, when somebody, hey, Freddie, how are you? I'm great. I like to say I'm great because great is more than fine, right? Great is really good. Um, how can you say, uh, no, no me puedo quejar? I can't complain. I can't complain. Very good. I can't complain. You can write down in the answers in the chat also so that your classmates can see the, the expression, right? How do you say uh, mejor imposible? How can you say mejor imposible? Better impossible. Better impossible. Thank you so much, Miguel. Um, how can you say um, más o menos? So, 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 so. so, so. so, so. And how can you say, let's see, increíble. How can you say that? It starts with the letter A. Amazing. Amazing, okay. You feel amazing, mm -hmm. I feel, Amazing. Uh, another question. Is terrific good or bad? If you say I am terrific. Good. It's good. Yes, good. terrific is very good. Now I am going to give you another question that you can use to, to say hello. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? That's another question that we can use. Hey, how are you feeling? Or how are you feeling today? Como te sientes, right? How do you feel or how are you feeling, right? I'm feeling great or I feel great. I feel really good. I feel a little sad. I feel tired. I feel stressed. I feel sleepy. I feel hungry, right? There are many feelings that we can express. Uh, so how are you feeling or how do you feel, right? How do you feel? That's the other form. How do you feel? Okay, perfect. So you remember, you remember. How do you feel? How are you feeling? Um, one question that is like the top, that is more advanced is what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Uh, this is formal, okay? Uh, very formal. What have you been up to? Uh, this is specially used when uh, you haven't seen a person for a long time. Cuando no han visto a alguien por mucho tiempo, pueden utilizar esta pregunta. Hey, what have you been up to? Uh, informally, people say, hey, what you up to? What you up to? Informally, right? But formally is, what have you been up to? Uh, that is like, Saying, eh, ¿Cómo has estado? O, ¿Qué has hecho? Right? It's in the chat. It's in the chat. You can check that in the chat. Um, so it's two things, right? You want to know how the person has been and what the person has been doing. Quieren saber ambas cosas con esa pregunta. ¿Cómo ha estado la persona en todo ese tiempo que no se han visto y qué ha hecho? Okay. Entonces, al, al, cuando les pregunten eso, las personas quieren saber qué han hecho y cómo han estado en un tiempo largo que no se han visto, por ejemplo. What have you been up to? Um, so, that's a very, uh, a more advanced question. Now, some expressions to say goodbye. Some expressions to say goodbye. Can you please tell me some expressions to say goodbye?
Hello. See you. See you. See you. See you. Very good. See you. Adios, see you. Uh -huh. Expressions to say goodbye. See you is one. Uh -huh. Another you. one. See you later. See you later. Correct. Sí. How do you say nos vemos pronto? O te veo pronto. Te veo pronto, nos vemos pronto. How can you say that? Remember, when you don't know something, you ask, teacher, how do you say, eh, for example, eh, te mando saludos, mi amigo. Or how do you say, eh, te veo mañana in English. Very good. See you tomorrow, Monica. That's correct. Um, how do you say, cuídate? Take care. Take care. That's correct. Take care. Or you can use it, the, compl the compliment. Take care of yourself. Cuídate a ti mismo, right? Take care of yourself. It's a it's a possibility. It's an option. It's a possibility. Uh, take care or take care of yourself. How can you respond? How can you answer? ¿Cómo responden si alguien le dice eso? Take care. It's very easy. You too. You too. Okay. You too. That's right. You too. And you can say likewise. Likewise. That's another expression. Say igualmente. Right? Likewise. So you too or likewise. And how can you say... Um, Que tengas un buen día. Have a nice day. Have a nice day or have a good day. Very good. Have a good or a nice day. Have a nice day or have a good night, right? Hey, Feliz, when you finish the class. Um, and you say thanks, you too, right? Or thank you. Thank you is more formal than thanks. Okay, thank you. Um, Another way that you can say igualmente para ti is same like for you, same for you, same for you, igual para ti, right? Same for you. Okay. And then I think that that would be all right. See you later. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Um, see you around. That's another possibility, right? And so let's continue. Um, I'm going to take the attendance quickly. Now the majority of you are here, so it's going to be easier. Irene Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Fatima Luna. I'm here. Jessica Mancilla. Present. Jesus Abrego. Present, teacher. Joanna Hernandez. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Okay, Jorge Rivas. Present teacher. That's the energy, Jorge. Jose Duarte. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Jocelyn Flores. I'm here, teacher. Jose Cordova. Jose Cordova is not here. Okay, let's continue with Juan, Juan Menendez. Juan Menendez, Juan Diaz. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Diaz, Carla Reyes. Present teacher. Catherine Maldonado. Present. Kenia Garcia. Present teacher. Nice, Lorena Martinez. Present. Okay, Mario Arevalo. Mario Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay, I know that Mario was there. Uh, Present teacher. Maybelline Jaimes. Okay, Mario. Present. Present, Present teacher. Okay, Miguel Hill. Teacher. Present teacher. Hello. 
Who's speaking? Present Who's teacher. Speaking? Uh, Jose Cordova. Okay, Jose Cordova. Thank you for saying hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. Miguel Guardado. Present. Monica Patriz. Okay. Present Hi, teacher. Hey, what is the pronunciation? Is Patriz or Patriz? Patriz. Patriz. Okay, nice. Natalia Sanchez. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Nelson Velasquez. Nelson Velasquez. Nelson Javier. Present. Present. Okay, perfect. I thought I were not there. Uh, Norma Enriquez. Present teacher. Raquel Melendez. Present. Ricardo Naranjo. Ricardo Josué. Um, I think he told me that he was feeling sick. He, he's not feeling so well today. So, uh, Rodolfo Lopez. Rodolfo. Rosenberg Guzman. Rosenberg. Rosemary Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Roxana Alfaro. Present teacher. And Stephanie Herrera. Stephanie, are you there? I think I saw Stephanie. Present. Okay, there you are. Okay, so it's time to work. Uh, wait a second, I think. Ah, yeah. Ricardo said present. Okay, Ricardo. So he cannot use the microphone right now, but he's present. That's good. So guys, yesterday, as you mentioned, we talk about jobs. We talk about different occupations. We talk about the place where you work, where these people work. And we talk about family and, and friends that have different jobs. Okay. So today we are going to practice a conversation. I told you yesterday, right? We're going to practice a conversation. But before that, I'm going to take the picture for Instagram. I'm just kidding. It's just for the record. Okay. One, two, and three. Don't move. Okay. Next one. And okay. Wait a second. Here you are. Uh, perfect. I hope that you practice the conversation. Okay. Because today we're going to have some volunteers. And um, check here we go i'm going to share the screen with you right now because we before we practice the conversation we're going to play and today we are going to play a very popular game that's really funny and it's called ten 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 Bingo. Okay, so what are we going to do? Very, very easy. You are going to make a little chart in your notebook, right? With one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That would be five times four. That would be 20 minus one, 19. So 19 different boxes or let me check. Maybe 19 is too much. I'm going to eliminate four. Uh, well, five. So I only have 18. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Now we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 different blanks, 14 uh, boxes. So what are you going to write in this bingo? We're going to play bingo with vocabulary about jobs. Vocabulary about jobs, okay? So I am going to share the screen with you. I'm going to share the screen with you so that you can see the vocabulary and select. Select the words that you want to copy, okay? This is individual. So you copy the one job, in every box, one job in every box. So in total, you are going to have 14 different jobs from the list. You select the, the job and you write it in your space in the position that you want, okay? 
Eh, finished with the bingo chart. Ya tienen el dibujito ahí medio uh, cuadriculado en su cuaderno. O en una página, un pedazo de papel. No tiene que ser perfecto como que son arquitectos. Puede ser sin regla al cálculo. Ok. The most important is that you have the space to write down 14 different jobs. 14 different jobs. So, I'm going to share the list with you right now. And you select the jobs that you want. This is individual, is optional, is free. Okay, so these are some of the options. I have 45 options for you. Okay, I'm going to scroll up and down so that you can copy the, the words that you like, the job that you like. You don't have to write the definition, okay? You only have to write the word. Okay, as you copy, I am going to uh, pronounce, pronounce every job, okay? Number one is accountant, accountant, okay? If you want to practice repetition, you can do it, okay? Accountant. Two, actor or actress. Three, architect, architect. It's not Archie, it's Archie, right? Architect. Next one. Number four, baker, baker. Number five, brick layer, brick layer. Number six, butcher, butcher. That would be carnicero, right? Butcher. Uh, brick layer or mason is albañil, right? Uh, next one, number seven, carpenter. Eight, chef or cook. Uh, number nine, dentist. Number 10, designer, designer. 11, doctor. 12, electrician. Electrician. Number 13, engineer. Dentist. Engineer. Number 14, Diseño. farmer. Van a elegir los trabajos que ustedes Dentist. quieran, ok? Los van a poner en cualquier cuadrito. Um, Farmer, In farmer, year. fireman, fisherman, florist, gardener, oh, no. gardener, hairdresser, hairdresser, a janitor, janitor, a, the next one, farmer. janitor is a uh, ordenanza, fisherman. right? Journalist, gardener. Judge, Emerson. lawyer, lifeguard, guardavidas, right? Lifeguard, a mechanic, nurse, optician, painter, pharmacist, photographer, pilot, plumber, politician, policeman or policewoman, receptionist, scientist, secretary, shop assistant, soldier, soldier, right? Tailor, that would be sastre, right? Tailor, teacher, you know, teacher, translator, okay, translator, and traductor, travel agent, Veterinarian or vet, who is the doctor of the animals, okay? Waiter or waitress, okay? Those are the 45 options that you have to copy in your bingo chart. I am going to share this document with you through the WhatsApp group, so don't worry. You are going to have these jobs with the definition if you want to practice and study more. Now, uh, please use a reaction. Use a reaction if you already finished you can raise your hand you can give me a thumb up or um you can use another reaction to say that you finished okay that you have the vocabulary ready and your bingo chart complete okay let's see how many reactions we have
Okay, Catherine is ready. Very good. Somebody else, somebody else. Who else is ready? Jocelyn Madai is ready. We have more reactions. Okay, perfect. So uh, I am going to move on. Nelson is ready. Very good. Uh, Rosenberg, welcome. Okay, so uh, here we go. What is the indication? Simple. I am going to start saying different. Um, Oh, Jessica, you have had bad connection. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe you can turn off your camera, Jessica, so you have better connection. Uh, now, I am going to start saying different jobs in different order. And if you have the job in your notebook, you are going to put a check or an X, cross, okay? Eh, pone un chequecito o una X si menciono la profesión o, o la ocupación que ustedes escribieron en cada cuadrito. Si no lo tienen, no, no, no tachan nada. When you have all the vocabulary, okay, eh, the, okay we're going to play two, two different ways. Cuando alguno de ustedes tenga una línea horizontal completa, ya marcada, dicen bingo, okay? Va a ser la primera ronda. La segunda ronda, vamos a continuar con el mismo vocabulario y la persona que termine el cuadro completo del bingo va a, va a gritar bingo. ¿Ok? Así que van a haber dos ganadores simultáneos casi. Um, or more. Maybe more than two people. So, here we go. First job. Plumber. Plumber. Number two, mechanic. Okay. Yo no entendí, teacher. Eh, cada quien tiene su cuadrito de bingo. Entonces, si yo, en uno de los cuadritos escribieron la, el trabajo que yo menciono, lo van a tachar. Okay. El primero que tenga una línea horizontal completa con todas tachadas, dice bingo, y gana, digamos, un punto imaginario. Uh, y luego seguimos, se, si, continuamos sin parar, y el que tenga el, cuadri, la, el bingo completo, eh, gana. Um, so, we have two bingos, okay? You have to say bingo, right? Next one, number three. Her dresser, her dresser. No matter the order. No matter the order. Yeah, no importa el orden. Okay, next one. Doctor. Next. Baker. Next word. Judge. Wes. Okay, continue. Photographer. Photographer. Next one. Scientist. Scientist. Next one, soldier, soldier. Next word, translator. Next one, waiter or waitress. Bingo. Bingo, wow, that was fast, Natalia. Can you show, can you show your netbook, please? Uh, we have the evidence. Can you show your bingo chart? To the camera? Yes. Ok, muéstranos, muéstranos el, el cuaderno, ok? Ahí tenemos la lista para comprobar. Ok, get it closer. One, two, three, four, five. That's correct. Very good. So, class for you. You win the first bingo. Let's continue. Let's continue. Ok, now you say bingo when you finish all the charts, ok? Hoy solo va a decir bingo la persona que termine todo el cuadro. Ok, next one. Pharmacist. Pharmacist. Continue. Electrician. Electrician. Next one. Fireman. Next one. 
carpenter. Next job, accountant. Accountant. Next one, architect. Next one, designer. Next word, next job is florist. Florist. Next one, lifeguard. <laughs> so it's like, no, I don't have that one. Next one, optician. Next word, pilot. Next one, politician. Next word, receptionist. Next one, shop assistant. Shop assistant. Next one, my favorite job, teacher. Next one, veterinarian. Veterinarian, okay? We continue with the next one. Journalist. It's not jornalero, it's reportero. Journalist. Or periodista, right? Periodista will be the best translation. Next one, engineer. No bingo. My God. Let's continue. Um, actor or actress. No bingo? Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Dentist. No? Okay, next one. Farmer farmer next word lawyer lawyer no bingo wow this is going to be more difficult than i thought okay policeman or policewoman police officer nope okay nurse nurse nope okay let's continue with gardener gardener next one chef or cook next word butcher butcher nope okay brick layer brick layer no puede ser que me las termine y nadie diga bingo uh, okay next one janitor janitor Nope. Painter. Painter. What? Bingo. With more energy, Nelson. Bingo. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Nelson Javier said bingo. Can you please show to the camera that you have your, your bingo chart complete? Okay. Let me check. Yes, yes, and correct. So we have a winner. Claps for Nelson Javier, please. Reactions, don't forget to use the reactions to express that you're happy and to give motivation to your classmates. So here we go. So um, the prize for you is going to be a virtual pencil. So you can continue writing vocabulary in your netbook, Nelson. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Now, uh, use a reaction. If you like this little game, please, you can show thumbs up, claps, or a heart, or a celebration hat. I don't know how to call that in English or Spanish. No sé cómo llamar a ese emoji uh, en ningún idioma. Um, so let's continue. Next activity. After the bingo, we are going to practice the conversation. So talking time. So I am going to uh, ask for volunteers. Okay, so here we're going to practice with volunteers. Um, so I need two volunteers, two people to raise a hand, please, first. I see Stephanie raising the hand and Roxana. Okay, Stephanie and Roxana, you practice first. Then we continue with Jocelyn and Jesus. Okay, so first 
Stephanie and Roxana. Stephanie, you are you started the conversation. Uh, Roxana, you continue. One, two, and three. Action. Where do, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. Guide. A guide. I, guide. Guide. Yeah. Guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? Rest Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Class for them, Hello. please. Hamburger Heaven. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you so much for participating. Um, so now we continue with Jocelyn and Jesus, right? So uh, Jesus, you, you start the conversation and Jocelyn, you continue. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? In a restaurant. Which restaurant? Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay. Amazing. Thank you so much, Jesus. And Jocelyn, thumbs up for you. Now we continue with Rodolfo Jimenez. One volunteer. We need another volunteer to practice conversation with Rodolfo. Who wants to practice English? Who wants to practice English? Uh, we have, okay, Rosemary, and then, so Rodolfo and Rosemary, and then Catherine with Jorge. So Rodolfo, please start the conversation. Okay, thank you. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas, Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Uh, in a fast food restaurant. Correct. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay. Class for them, please. Reactions for Rodolfo and Rosemary. Thank you very much. Now we continue with Jorge and Catherine. Jorge, please start the conversation. Catherine, you continue. Where do you work, Andrea? Okay. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Nice. Oh, really? What do you do there? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and, and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? 
Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven, that's right. Congratulations, thank you so much. It is nice to listen to you speak in English. So, uh, but I want everybody to speak English, right? So that is my only condition. Everybody needs to speak at least one time in the class, at least, minimum one time in the class. Uh, es un requisito, ok? En cada clase, por lo menos, una vez tienen que hablar. Um, en la sesión, en los breaker rooms, hablan todos, ¿verdad? Así que, aunque sea para preguntar o para, pre o para decir que repita algo, pero activen el micrófono, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok. So, um, it is important to listen, right? Because we, we improve when we practice. We improve when we practice. So, um, there are some basic questions that you need to remember, ok? The question number one is, teacher, how do you say this in English, right? If it is about pronunciation, teacher, how do you pronounce this? For example, how do you pronounce guide? Ah, it's guide, guide. Okay, very good. Or let's suppose uh, you'd see one word in English and you don't know the meaning, right? So imagine that you see the word, uh, Mm, fast food, fast food. Let's suppose that you don't know fast food. Um, teacher, what's the meaning of fast food? What's the meaning of? What's the meaning of? What is the significado de? So I am going to explain you, right? I am going to explain you the meaning of the word. Ahí les voy a explicar qué significa. Si no entienden, les doy ejemplos. Si no entienden con ejemplos, le hago gestos. Y si no entienden con gestos, ahí lo traduzco. Pero va a ser la última opción, ¿ok? Lo importante es que ustedes puedan entender el idioma directamente. Porque si ustedes hablan con alguien nativo del inglés y no habla español, no va a haber forma de que les traduzca algo. Entonces, la persona les va a explicar en inglés qué es lo que quiere decirles. ¿Ok? Imagínense que ustedes traen un restaurante. Uh, o van a un restaurante ustedes. Y la persona que les atiende es gringa, gringa, gringa. En el aeropuerto, supongamos. ¿Cómo le van a pedir algo? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the meaning of, uh, I mean, how do you say peanut in Spanish? Uh, peanuts. Yes, peanut. Uh, I, I don't speak Spanish, uh, but peanut is a seed. Uh, and y ahí les voy a decir, es una semilla. Uh, similar to almond or uh, cashew. Ok. Entonces, si ustedes hacen el esfuerzo, lo van a entender lo que les quiere decir, ¿verdad? Y si no, les va a enseñar probablemente el gringuito un maní. Uh, but the idea is that you communicate directly in English, right? Because they might, there are people who don't speak two languages. So they speak Spanish or English, right? Um, so it is very important for you to practice the language directly, right, in English. Um, so I recommend you one dictionary that is English, English. That, that is a good idea. So what's the meaning of? The meaning of? That is a question. Okay. ¿Cuál es el significado de? Uh, if you want me to write the vocabulary in the chat, for example, uh, you can say, teacher, you mentioned the word peanut. How do you write? How do you write that? How do you write it? How do you write? ¿Cómo lo escribe? How do you write? And you mentioned the word, right? How do you write peanut? Ah, oh, okay, peanut. Like that. Okay, thank you, teacher. And we continue, right? Uh, if you want spelling, uh, you, you can ask question. Teacher, how do you spell peanut? How do you spell? Okay. And you say the word. How do you spell peanut? P-E-A-N-U-T. Okay, thank you, teacher. And we continue, right? So communication in English is possible, but we need to remember the questions and practice them, okay? So let's, or if you say, teacher, can you repeat that again, please? Or can you repeat that, please? It's very important, right? Uh, or if you want to say, teacher, cual, how do you say, cuál es la diferencia entre... Uh, Let's suppose be the word on and in. 
you can how do you how do you say cuál es la diferencia entre on y la palabra in how do you say that in english mm -hmm. sobre in. y en okay cómo pregun me preguntarían a mí ustedes eso ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre in and what's on? The difference? What, what's the difference between the difference? in and on? Awesome. Very good. Thank you so much, guys. What's the difference between, between in and on? In and on. What's the difference oh, between... In, okay. Esas oh, son preguntas que me oh. pueden hacer en clase y directamente en inglés, ¿verdad? What's the difference between this and that, right? Good. Let's continue. Eh, Right now, we are going to move on to the next activity. Uh, as I told you, I want everybody to practice. So we're going to practice questions. Uh, so what is the questions? We are talking about WH questions in the simple present, right? And also statements. So listen and repeat. Number one, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, what do you do is a question, right? But when people are speaking in English, they say, what do you do? What do, what do, suena como una R. What do you do? Okay. Um, what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. I'm a student and I have a part-time job. You do. Okay, so uh, we're going to practice <laughs> pronunciation. Later, I am going to ask you the question and you answer, okay? Number two, where do you work? Repeat, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay, where so you, you can do? see, where do you work? That where is where the, do you work? The where do you work? Yes, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh, if you want to speak more fluently, si quieren hablar más fluidamente, lo que tienen que hacer ustedes son eh, conexiones de sonidos, okay? Unir palabras. For example, do you, do you, you can pronounce it as one. Pueden pronunciarla como una. Where do you, where do you, do you, right? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you, right? Do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Por eso a veces no entendemos el inglés. No es porque no sepamos, sino porque las personas nativas lo hablan de una forma bien com comprimida, ¿ok? Bien uh, abreviada. Where do you work? Hey, where do you work? Ah, huh? where do you work? No hablan así, ¿verdad? Lo hablan más rápido. Por esa razón hay que aprender a entender cómo, eh, la velocidad en la que ellos lo hablan. Uh -huh. Little by little, ¿ok? Poco a poco. I work at a restaurant or I work in a restaurant, ¿ok? The two are correct. I work at a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. ¿Ok? Another connection here. Ina. Ina. In a restaurant. Ina, right? No digo in a. I say ina. I work in a restaurant. Work in a, work in a, work in a restaurant. Work in a restaurant. Ahí las tres palabras, ¿verdad? Work in a, work in a. I work in a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. Very good. Work in a restaurant. Y one day, tomorrow, I think that we're going to practice some tongue twisters, ¿ok? Me vamos a practicar unos trabalenguas que pueden ayudarles también para, para eso. Ok. Um, or I work at, at a, at a restaurant, at a. La T se pronuncia como una R al unirla con la siguiente A. I work at a restaurant. At a. At a restaurant. At a restaurant. Ok. At a restaurant. At a. At a restaurant. Ok. Pero la R es la en inglés, ¿verdad? I work at a restaurant. At a. It sounds more sophisticated, right? I work at a restaurant. I work at a, at a restaurant. Next one. Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? I go Where to the you... University of Texas. I go to, what or I go to, okay? So normal, I go to. Contraction, I go to, go to. I go, go to. to. 
Goru. I go to the University of Texas. Excellent. I go to the University of Texas. I go to the University of Texas. Next one. Where does Andrea work? Where does Andrea work? Does, does Andrea. Where does Andrea work? Where does Andrea work? Where does Andrea work? Where does Andrea work? She Where's works at Thomas work? Cook Travel. She works she at works at Thomas Cook Travel. Works she works at, work at, at Thomas Cook Travel. Ahí ponen el works con at. Works at. She works at she Thomas Cook work Travel. Works at. Works at. She works at. Work at. Work 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 okay, she works at Thomas Cook Travel. Works at. Next. What does she do? What does she do? What does she do? She's a guide. She's a. She's a guide. She's a guide. She's a. She's a guide. She's a guide. She's a guide. She takes people on tours. She takes people on tours. People on, right? People on. Se unen las sonidos. People on. She takes people on tours. People on. She takes. Como que éramos people on, right? People on. Okay. People on tours. That's correct. And the last question: How does she like it? How does she like it? How does she like it? Like it. Like it. Right. Like it. Like it. She loves it. Loves it. She loves it. Loves it. She loves it. Loves it. Loves it. She loves it. Excellent. Now I am going to ask the question and you give me the answer. Okay. What do you do? What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Part job. Okay, now I'm going to choose the volunteers. I said everybody's going to participate, right? Uh, okay, vamos a ver, a cumplir la regla de que todos participan. Um, Juan Fernando, where do you work? I work at a restaurant. I work at a restaurant, very good. Kenya Jamilet, where do you go to school? I go to University of Texas. Thank you, very nice. Ismael, where does Andrea work? Where does Andrea work? Jose Ismael? Uh, she work, works at Thomas Cook Travel. Thomas Cook Travel, that's correct. Fatima Luna, what does she do? She again, she takes people She's a on tours. She's guide. She takes people on tours. Very She's good. Thank you so much. Uh, the last one, Catherine Giselle, how does she like it? She loves it. She loves it. She loves it. Okay, very good. So if you pay attention, when we are talking about he, she, or it, we change the verb. We make a modification to the verb. So listen and repeat. For I and you, I and you, okay, I, we, you, for those three uh, pronouns, para esos tres pronombres utilizamos una forma en el verbo, en el presente simple, afirmativo. For he, she, and it, we use another form. Okay. Work. Repeat. Work. 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 Take. 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 Study. 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 With the sounds at the end. Study. Okay. Study. Teach. 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 Freddy teach or Freddy teaches? Freddy teaches. Freddy teaches. Okay, English. because you're talking about yes. 
Okay, yeah. about him, right? Estamos yeah. hablando sobre él. Okay, Freddy teaches English. Very good. Do. 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 Does. 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 How do you say, how do you say, eh, oh, does. Miguel hace ejercicios. Miguel does exercise. Very good. Miguel does. How do you say Maybelline hace la tarea? Maybelline does the homework. How do you say todos los estudiantes hacen la tarea? All the students do or does? Do, do, do the homework. Okay. All the students do, do the homework. The homework. Okay, that's correct. Go. Go. Goes. Go. Goes. Okay. How do you say eh, mi hermano va a trabajar todos los días? My, my brother goes to work every day. Goes to work every day. Anyway. Very good. You can write this sentence in the chat for the people to see the, the structure, right? My brother goes, goes, is the, the sound at the end. My brother goes to work every day. Have, have, has, 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 Okay, has. 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 Okay, que hay una vibración. Has. Okay. Has. How do you say, how do you say, uh, tengo eh, dinero? I have, I have money. money. I have money. I have money. How do you say, how do you say, eh, Mario tiene dinero? Mario tiene dinero. Mario has money. Okay. Uh, so that is how we do it. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie, for writing the sentence in the chat. And that is how we use the different form. Okay. So pay attention to that. Okay. If we are talking about he, she, and it, in the simple present affirmative, we add the letter S or ES to the verb, okay? Agregamos la S o la ES al verbo cuando estamos hablando de la tercera persona en singular. Para que no se confundan con tercera persona y primera persona, cuando estamos hablando de él, ella y eso, de un, de un objeto, un animal, ¿verdad? Una cosa uh, o un lugar. So... If you say, if you say, for example, eh, eh, mi sobrino estudia en la mañana. My cousin is studying. My cousin is studying. Cousin is studying. Nephew. Okay, write the word in the chat, please. Nephew. nephew, write it in the chat. Okay, my nephew, my nephew studies. Studying. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. That's correct. In the morning. In the morning. Next one. Uh, the next one would be okay. Take. Okay, with the bird take. I'm going to say uh, toma una hora. Uh, la clase toma una hora. La clase take. The class takes one hour. hour. One hour. Excellent. So, uh, what you're going to do in this moment is to complete, okay? Uh, this is for homework, right? Complete these conversations uh, in your notebook, okay? So, take a screenshot, okay? Exercise A. Yes? Take the screenshot. If not, I am going to send it to you. You can send it to the WhatsApp group, right? That's possible too. Um, so you can, everybody can see the exercise. Good, so let's move on. The last activity that we're going to be doing, 
we will do this later. Okay, so I'm going to um, move. I want you to practice a little bit of conversation. So you're going to practice these questions in pairs. Okay, what do you do? Where do you live? Do you study? Where do you work? Where? How do you like your job? Or how do you like it? Right? De cuánto te gusta lo que, de lo que están hablando? What's your favorite? Okay. What's your favorite? Y ahí complementan con cualquier con, con cualquier palabra. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite subject? What's your favorite music? Or your favorite food? Okay. So it's a conversation for three minutes. Okay. Let's go to the breakout rooms and practice these questions, please. Ready, set, and go. 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 Check. I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now. Here you go. Okay, three minutes and you will finish. Go to the breakout room. Okay, let me see. Accept the invitation. Catherine, Mario, Lorena, Nelson, very good. Also, Alberto, Mario, Lorena, and Nelson. Okay, I'm going to send you to another breakout room. And Nelson, there you go. Sí, no, usted tiene que estar con ustedes. Yeah. Um. I am. I am take a class. Um. ¿Cómo sería? Entonces sería de preguntar ahorita, sería de Juan Fernando, what do you do? Very good. Hey. I'm a student, I'm a chef, I'm a mechanic, I'm, I'm a doctor. I am a, a student. No tengo la... What does? Sería what does, Tania. Así sería, what does uh -huh. Tania. Uy, se me, se me... Se terminó el tiempo. Time is up, yes, I'm sorry. Hello. Sí, habla. Este está bien. No lo he puesto en el grupo. No sé. No. Ay, que como no, no, no se ha metido al grupo. No lo puede, no lo puede ver. Piche el micrófono. Wait a second. Yeah. So I, I need to remember that, okay? So what I was telling you is that uh, 
the idea is that we're going to be having more conversations uh, in every every opportunity that we have okay because the most important skill and the most difficult skill for the for students is speaking okay uh, esa es la habilidad fundamental okay para poder comunicarnos aunque tal vez escritura falte un poquito lectura falte un poquito si podemos hablar y entender um, ya nos defendemos okay so uh, it is necessary okay that, that we practice that okay mm -hmm. if you have a, if you have a friend a family member uh, to, or a classmate